Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Seven Days to Die Modded with Darkness Falls. We're on Alpha 19 here. So we just ended the uh, horde last episode. We had a very successful horde. It was nice and controlled. Uh, the building kept standing, and we only have minimal uh, repairs to do. Business. So what we're going to do here this episode is uh, go ahead and... Uh, does he say does, do you have any more work? Oh, okay, never mind. Wow. Uh, we're going to take a few jobs here from Trader Jewels. There's uh, a few Tier 1s here that are actually very far away or some tier three so there's no actual tier two stuff to choose from here uh so you know what we're gonna go with a tier one here uh a medical clinic small okay well let's give that a go i'm i'm not entirely sure if you need to complete uh like 10 tier one to get tier two or 10 tier two to get tier three but we do have some tier three stuff you know what guys Scrap that. We're, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to do a uh, tier uh, tier 3 clear here. So let's go ahead and uh, remove that quest and uh, go and talk to him again. See if there's one nice and close. We do have a tier 3 clear of zombies. That's 582 meters. Oh, it's a business trip. Old 2. Okay, we should be able to handle that. Uh, I don't think that's actually going to be nearly as intense as uh, the last one was. But we do have a bunch of ammo left over. Uh, we have some armor piercing here. Uh, we should have... Oh, I put all that ammo away, guys. I have all my guns, but none of the ammo. Whoops. I'm going to grab some food here and make sure we're loaded up. Okay, so just getting everything loaded up here. We got some armor piercing going on in here. Some regular ammo in our Desert Eagle. Uh, of course, we have our shotgun here, which I completely forgot to grab our ammo for. But the other thing I forgot is we have this uh, treasure map. So let's go ahead and read that. These are always good finds. And uh, see how far away that treasure map landed. Uh, we have the tier 3 clear over here, and we have the treasure map up here. Oh, yeah, we got to go ahead, guys, and do the treasure map first. And then we'll go and... Uh, do that tier three clear so let me grab some of that shotgun ammo and i'll see you guys up there okay and uh here we are so this is not uh so bad uh we could start out in the middle here and uh work our way down i gotta keep my ear out here too for uh uh for any zombies all right let's build ourselves a little bit of a staircase and uh start poking some holes oh my god look at that what as if that happens way too often for me. That was actually almost right in the middle of uh, right in the middle. That's hilarious. Well, that was uh, that was nice and easy. Let's go ahead and uh, break this open and see what treasure is inside for us. There we go, nice and broken open. And in there we got uh, 3,561 Duke's Casino tokens, not a bad deal. Marksman Rifle, which will actually sell the trader, and uh, 57 Armor Piercing Ammo. That's actually uh, very, very handy. We should be able to rip through a lot of zombies with this thing. Uh, what we'll try to do is get them lined up down a hall and uh, shoot right through them all and do uh, multiple damage to multiple zombies. So I'll see you guys over at that uh, Tier 3 Old Business Strip. This should be actually... Uh, uh, an easier bit of a run. Oh, nothing like coming across an airdrop on your way across the map. Right here, look at this. So it's day 29, so we probably actually have a few kicking around. I mean, I didn't go and get every single one. And uh, we tend to be in generally the same area every single time. Oh my god, look at that. It has a bunch of food in there. has a whole bunch of weapons and whatnot. Uh, that's pretty damn cool. What are these guys doing? Guys... Trying to talk to my audience right now. Oh, he's bringing me a puffer jacket. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so we got some stuff out of that. Not too bad. We got a couple grenades. We got some canned food. We got a stun baton, which we can actually sell. Uh, it doesn't sell really for very much, but whatever. Look at that. 90 coin right there, too. Okay, let's get on the mini bike and uh, get the heck out of here. Look at all the zombies chilling out. Okay, wow, uh, it looks like they've actually redone this place. Is this place different now? Hmm, there's a military truck at it, so they've obviously changed something. Uh, this isn't really how I remembered it. But you know what, guys? Let's do this. This, this looks kind of cool. Let's give it a go. Uh, I guess we have to go in through the front. Okay, here we are. We are at uh, Munch's Carpet, Dix, uh, 1900 Zombie Love, Stormore, and uh, there's a nice little crack of book down at the end. Okay, we should be able to handle this, I think. I think we can do this place here, so let's go ahead and give that a Tier 3 uh, start, 
And I'm going to store some stuff in my mini bike. We'll break in the front door here. Hmm. I break open the front door, and who comes to visit me? Frickin' Hornet. Look at this. I actually haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Uh, that's funny, though, that um, breaking in the front door attracted the Hornet. Uh, we got these couple of guys, too. Okay, so it looks like I'll have to clear out the neighborhood here. Oh, look at that. Got that guy's head. It blew right off. And uh, this utility worker slid on fire. That is uh, incredibly handy. What do we have over here? We have a deer coming on us and what appears to be a cowboy. Um, I, I do like having animals on the map, but I find it awfully funny that the zombies don't go after the animals. I mean, they would literally destroy the animals all the time and you never get them. But I mean, it, it make hunting a little trickier, I guess. Maybe make food um, go a lot further. I don't know. I'm just shooting stuff out there. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure we get the clear here first. And then uh, I'll come back and do all the looting. That way we're not right full. Whoa! Where'd that guy come from? I heard him. Oh, okay. He's coming through this door right here. So let's give this guy a good old help. There we are. And uh, take him out of his misery. Ooh, it's a feral corpse too. And he is down. <laughs> nice. I absolutely love the bat. Uh, my favorite weapon ever. There we go. Break open the back room. Looks like we'll actually be breaking our way through a lot of this here. And uh, start clearing this out. Not that many zombies so far. I know I'm going to regret saying that, but uh, there really, really isn't. Like, Look at there's food piles up there. Shamway food boxes. Uh, we're going to have a lot to go through here. There we go, broke my way up through the stairs, and uh, I'm actually going to take out my AR here. Ooh, this thing's going to need a repair pretty damn soon. Uh, actually, this is a bad thing to do uh, while you're just standing around. We can go ahead and uh, invest some points here into uh, into gun crafting. Here we go, so we want one, two, three, and you know what guys, we're going to go for the fourth. There we go. Uh, tier 41 for guns. Decrease crafting time by 4%. Guns below quality 41 will no longer degrade on repair. So this gun actually won't go any lower than 31. And uh, we can combine it up to 41 and keep it there now, which is uh, very, very convenient. All right, let's get this door broken open and uh, get some business taken care of here. Really? This place is like quiet and tame compared to the last one. The last one just had like giant rooms absolutely full of zombies. Um, it was pretty wild. Okay, so is this our way out here? Uh, I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's hard to tell. I've n I don't think I've ever actually properly gone through this place uh, maze-wise. So uh, we might be doing this uh, completely backwards. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, what do we have going on in here? Uh, we have a few zombies down here. Okay, he can bang on down there. I really don't care. He can wake up the entire neighborhood as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Well, we only have one th zombie fall through the roof here. Yeah, a lot less zombies than last time. Those uh, player POIs are pretty damn crazy. So this, uh, this is an ammo pile, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, search that anyway, because we can use the ammo, right? Okay, well, let's keep running through here. Uh, we got a Spides over here. There you go, bud. Whoa. Here we go. Whew. Hating into those things with a bat. Pain in the butt. They go flying. Okay, so uh, we're actually looking like really good here. This POI is so much easier than last. So these T3s uh, should not be really that hard to do if we actually choose... Um, uh, just the the original POIs because like the player made ones are just absolutely insane. Not complaining, it was fun, uh, but we definitely got our ass hand. Or I got my ass handed to me. You guys had nothing to do with that. You were just cheering me on. That's all. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, keep clearing this place. So you can almost run through this as a as a tier three. Oh, there we go. Got dude chill now back there. Love the Desert Eagle. Eagle, great weapon, by the way. Everyone should have one. We have a working uh, stiff tools box. Like I said, though, we're gonna pretty much uh, torque our way through here, get the clear, and then uh, and then we'll start our looting. Yeah, Desert Eagle, Eagle taking care of business. Nice. I think we can use our bat here in these uh, small little areas.
Okay, here we go. Let's break out into the back room here, and it looks like we may actually get some company in here. Oh no, this is a, uh, the one back room we're already in. <laughs> this is breaking open every single door I see. That's that's how we uh, loot places. Uh, we don't need a maze. We have tools to smash my way through. Okay, there's no zombies back here. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. There we go. And stay down. <laughs> Those guys are freaking tough. Uh, I gotta try not to get hit by them. Okay, what do we have in here? Just a little bit of tools. Uh, I wonder if this breaks open. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so we have a shamway box and stuff back there. Nothing really too valuable. Uh, medical pile. Ugh, just some gunpowder. Damn it. Uh, crack a book box up there. That's pretty sick. Oh, we've made it to the crack a book already? Okay, this is insane. Uh, let's break open a uh, unlocked door, by the way. Okay, and in here, we're definitely gonna have a few zombies. So I'm gonna try to avoid uh, using a gun in here because I, I don't want to destroy any of these uh, these shelves because there's a lot of books for us to search up in here. Oh, look at this! We have a radiated chill nut over here. Wow, he was actually really easy to take out. Just one swing with a bat and he went down like a clown. Okay, we have uh, another radiated over here. She's a decaying radiated though. That's why these guys, they're, they're just squishy. They're squishy radiated guys. They're not very tough at all. And if we go down this way, we should find, yes, a hole in the wall. Sick. I, I honestly think it's been a, a very, very long time uh, since I searched any of these places. Okay, we got a normal guy here. We can take care of him. Give that loot bag a search. He just give us a hat. That's a very nice hat, though, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, idiot. Just let me hit him. Look at that. That's not very smart. Why are you locking yourself in your storage unit, guys? That is a very, very bad technique during the apocalypse. I would not recommend that at all. Uh, I mean, you are guarding your stuff, but the zombies don't want your stuff. They want your brains. Okay, so it looks like we gotta go uh, upwards now, so let's go ahead and go up. Wow, this is the, literally so much easier than that last tier 3. That last tier 3 is absolute madness. Uh, okay, so... Break this open here. Boom. Bring out the bat. I knew you were there. <laughs> Look at all the storage in here though. This POI is actually kind of sick. Um, I honestly don't know if this has been renovated now. Um, I think it's been so long since I've bothered coming through one of these that I just, I don't remember it properly. Oh, we got another feral coming up here. There we go. Couple, uh, couple bonks and he is down. So this guy back can definitely take on a POI if you're only taking on one, uh, maybe two zombies at a time, right? Seems to be uh, pretty easy going. Boom, there we go. And nothing in there, but we go, oh, wow, look how quick we're flying through this place. Took us like a whole day to die on the last one. And uh, getting a little bit of leg out here, that's a little concerning, I think. Um, that usually means a, a few zombies had, uh, had spawned in. So let's actually, we'll go up this way here and uh, see if we can't get the drop on these guys. Oh, look at this! It's able to actually jump up here. I don't think you're uh, really intended to do that, but uh, let's make sure there's no uh, sleepers or anything beneath us here. I don't think there is. I think we're good to go. Okay, uh, there we go. And up on this rooftop, we have nothing but a way in. So let's go across this way. I know I'm messing this up. This is probably all gonna break. Whoa! Dog! <laughs> Batter up on that one though. Oh crap, guys. Okay, yeah, this is where I knew the action was gonna happen. Oh, Desert Eagle taking care of business. Boom. There we go. Off with your heads. Oh, this gun is sick. I gotta start using this in my um, vanilla Let's Play. This thing uh, kicks some butt. Okay, well, I don't think we actually went through this. Uh, this dungeon properly. Wow, none of that actually uh, collapsed. 
so it looks like, yeah, it has an actual orange area here that we still need to clear. Uh, so let's go ahead, get out that bat, and, uh, whoa! Oh, crap. Glad he didn't, uh, glad he didn't break my leg. That would have freaking sucked. Just sitting right there to even see him. All right, well, we got this area in here. Uh, where is this leading us? There's an open window over here, so it looks like it wants us to go uh, Maybe down over this way. Oh, yeah, there's got to be some stuff down here, too, right? I missed this whole area <laughs> uh, That's awesome Okay, well none of those were collapsible. That's pretty cool, and then it brings us up here. Hmm Well, I definitely got to find a way to uh, get through this stuff here proper uh, Whoa Whoa! Oh, is that where we, uh, that one zombie originally fell in? I think it actually is. Oh, we actually cleared it, guys! I'm running around looking for the rest of the zombies, but we actually uh, cleared the entire thing, so that's uh, pretty damn sick. And <laughs> yes, I just sniped the wolf from all the way over here with my Desert Eagle. Nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna go grab that meat, guys, and uh, we'll, uh, you know what? We'll do a little bit of a, a loot time lapse here, I think, of the entire place. So that's what we'll do. We'll go and do clears and then go back and uh, and loot it all with my inventory empty because I know we won't uh, have to take on a lot of zombies at that point. So yeah, I think that'll be a fun thing to do. Oh no, guys. Oh no, we have some serious business going on here. There is actually a wandering horde in the building and outside. We've got some coming over this way here. And uh, I'm using up all my AP ammo on them, which I really shouldn't be doing. I think our Desert Eagle will uh, help us out here. There we go. Holy crap. This g Even if you miss their heads, it still stuns them and knocks them over. It's a very effective weapon. Look at this guy all the way over here. There you go. Walk it. Walk into my uh, my crosshairs for me, please. Oh, we got a few more coming in from this direction. Let's pick these guys off. <laughs> Sick. Boom. There we go. Yeah. Look. Wow. Why is the why was the wandering horde so separated? It's kind of weird. But eh, whatever. Wow. The range on this thing is insane. This gun is sick. Okay, is she down? Yeah, I think she's down. Looks like there's a loot bag over there, too. Alright, I'm gonna get some stuff dumped in the mini bike here, and uh, let's go get some serious loot and done. Well, I 
think I've got it all. Um, I didn't really find like a huge, huge uh, loot room, so uh, not entirely sure what's going on with that. Maybe, no, we went to the second floor of this Kraga book. I'm uh, looking for areas that I may have missed. We got the clear and everything, so uh, not entirely sure what, what happened there, but uh, look at all this stuff I got. Holy crap, do I ever have a lot of crap. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of uh, schematics here that we already know. We can turn all of those into... Uh, into uh, these uh, bundle of skill notes and uh, maybe hopefully here very soon look at learning uh, and opening up some more um, some more skill sets which would be uh, really nice because you only start out with the initial two and you can open up the rest uh, through doing this so I'm gonna get on this motorbike here and we're gonna get back home and hand this into the trader and get some stuff sold to him too because we could always buy more and more and more ammo All right, and with 13 seconds left on our uh, testosterone hey, here, uh, or uh, not our testosterone, I was steroids, holy crap. Uh, we have two rewards to choose from. We can get a steel shovel level 34 or a bundle of skill notes 9. I'm going to go ahead and get the steel shovel, 419 coins, and uh, it's uh, slightly better than the one we have. So, uh, yeah, that's a no-brainer there. So I'm going to go through my inventory here. Um, I, I actually got to take dyes and crap out of stuff and uh, get this whole organ nice sell what off what I can to the trader and we'll keep the rest and uh, maybe head back out here oh guys look at this just going through my stuff here I have found myself a uh, cripple a mod if we take a look at this 20% chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target so um, I think this would actually be a better addition than the laser sight mod there we go so I was pretty much putting this only in um, only in for the extra damage so we'll put the cripple in a Cripple M mod in for the laser sight. And this laser sight here, actually... Aw, oh, damn. Uh, can we put that? Can we put a laser sight? Oh, we can. We can put a laser sight on a double barrel shotgun. So, uh, we'll slide that on in there. Here we go. Use the F button. <laughs> nice. So we got a laser sight on our shotgun. That's hilarious. All right, Trader Hugh. It's uh, time to make some money here. Okay, so two other additions here that I didn't notice is we have a level 31 M60 machine gun. That's nice to keep around. And a level 45 pistol, so we're slowly getting better and uh, better stuff here. So I pretty much sold, I think, whatever I needed to uh, to the trader. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away. But just from that little run we have here, uh, we're coming out with 2,083 Duke's well, Casino tokens. Guys! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! There's a whole bunch of stuff in my mini bike that I completely forgot about that I should have grabbed. <laughs> We're still way overweight too. Uh, that's okay. We can lose this right weight real quick. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, I thought it was like I was it's like I, th I thought we got more coin. Yes, there we go. So we got two thousand coins just from that run, uh, plus the thirty five hundred coins we got from the uh, the treasure too. So uh, even more stuff to sort through. This is gonna take me a few minutes. Okay, there we go. So looking good. Today was restock day too, and I'm not sure if we actually checked them out last episode, but I'm not really seeing anything in here uh, that we want to keep. Uh, we're definitely looking for some more mannequins though. There we go. We got a couple of other Steves here. Uh, I'm going to give the mannequin a uh, quick search. There we are. Always got to be buying these up. These are very important, guys. We're going to need these uh, for endgame here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I keep those things stored. They're, they're like gold at this point so let's go ahead uh put the other steves away and put the steves away here there we go and uh the rest of all this crap these steves over here are uh, actually keeping an eye out for us i haven't i haven't talked to these guys in a while what's up steve other steves you guys keeping an eye out we also have uh steve keeping an eye on richard down there richard killed me at one point he was uh my first death was actually because of richard uh so richard is now paying for his his crimes he still thinks he's defending the base but he's 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 paying for his crimes i swear all right i'm gonna get all this crap out of the way okay finally got that sorted here and it looks like it's uh just about nighttime i wasn't even uh 
watching the time, to be honest. It is 22.25. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's uh, right officially into nighttime. Steve, you forgot to tell me. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, go ahead and uh, look at what we need to do uh, for skill books here. So we have 279 bundles of skill notes so far. So let's go ahead and go to recipes. And uh, if we take a look here... What we need to make is a blank class paper. So for that, we need 240, which we have 279 of, so that's perfect. Uh, we need 60 paper. Hopefully, I have some of that actually hanging around. Uh, four ink and one quill. So let's go ahead and uh, see what it takes to make ink here. Uh, black ink, I think that is. Nope, that's black dye. Okay, I got to find the actual ink itself. Ah, here we go. So we can make that either in the chemistry station or in the fire here. Uh, if we make it in the fire, it takes uh, two black dyes. Ooh, that's a tough call. We could we have a lot of dyes, though, so we could probably make it. Uh, two jars of honey and uh, four eggs. So uh, in total, we need, I, I believe it was four inks. Oh, it's actually two inks. I do believe if you make this in the table itself, uh, the writing desk. Yes, let's make our writing desk here. Uh, it's not very expensive at all. It just takes some wood and some nails. So we should have those uh, components actually kicking around. Yeah, there we go. 13 nails, uh, just enough, and uh, some wood uh, to make a writing desk. And it looks like we have to make that in the, uh, the workbench here, which makes sense. There we go. And, oh, look at this. Lovely. We have 1,419 uh, brass sitting in there uh, from scrapping stuff down. Here we go. We'll go to raw materials. So uh, we'll do a couple more stacks here. Uh, brass radiators I think we actually need to keep. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, scrap this down in the, uh, the workbench. That way it's not in our inventory. It doesn't take too long, but... Uh, I like getting into the habit of that, of that. And we'll put our writing desk, I think, up here. Because we won't use this very often, uh, but we will use it. So let's go ahead and uh, search up ink here. So we need to make... Actually, is that, is this a chemistry station or the writing or the writing bench? Oh, chemistry station. There we go. It's in the sec one, second one. Uh, crafting area is the campfire, of course. So we're going to need a total of... Eight black dyes. So let's see if we can even make those. Uh, we do have one, two, three, four, five black dyes. And what do we need to make uh, six more or three more black dyes? All right. So to make one black dye, uh, we're gonna need uh, two of blue, two of red, and two of yellow. Oh, look at that. It looks like we actually have just enough to pull that off, too. And we can do that up in the uh, the campfire here. So let's slide some wood up in there. And uh, make ourselves here. Ooh, can you only make these one at a time? Uh, I think that's... Yeah, okay, you can only make one at a time. Makes sense because they don't stack, right? Okay, so we got three more going on. And that'll actually complete eight black dies for us. That's pretty sick. Oh no, look at this guys, I'm not even paying attention to what we need for the ink here, we need four eggs, uh oh, I've been using our eggs up like mad, I don't even think we have any, damn, we're gonna have to go on an egg hunt here I think tomorrow in order to uh, expand our skill set here, uh, let's actually see if he has any eggs, oh he just has bacon and eggs and boiled eggs, he actually has no eggs at all, not even in secret stash, so yeah, oh damn. Uh, that's okay. I think we can use some more wood anyway, so maybe I'll, uh, go and do some grinding here between episodes. And, uh, try to find the eggs we need. But we have the black dye, at least. All the black dye is going on. Uh, we just need those eggs, and then we can unlock ourselves a, uh, a new skill. So let's go ahead and actually take a look here at the, at the different skills we can unlock. So we, of course, we have, um the labor class and we also have the mechanic class because i like them vehicles right uh robotics inventor oh damn okay anyway there's the other classes here we have scavenger we have scientist we have security uh we have survivalist and we have uh technology here so i think technology is important but not right now uh maybe in a little bit in the future here uh increase walk speed by 10 percent increase run speed oh wow 
Increase walk speed by 50%. Increase run speed by 100%. That's a crazy little tree. What do we have here? Accelerated he uh, healing. What's the top one? Regenerate 10 HP per second for 30 seconds up to 75% of your max health when injured by an enemy. 50% chance to heal broken arms, legs, and bleeding while regeneration is active. Damn! This tree is pretty damn sick. What's technology crafting here? Uh, for future technologies, un unlocks recipes for the laser multi-tool. So this is all the end game stuff. This, uh, wow, these are insane. Physical conditioning, in increase player health by 50, increase stamina regen by 25%. Transhuman, increase physical damage uh, resistance by 10%, increase heat and cold resistance by 10, increase block and harvest amount by 5, increase melee weapon damage by 5, increase melee we weapon dismemberment chance by 25%. Wow, that's a lot of, like, perks in one little tree. That's, uh, that's pretty damn awesome. And, uh, if we take a look at survivalist here, it obviously you can, uh, survive better, your medication, uh, you're better insulated. So we're not gonna really take a look into this one here. Uh, but this one here, I think, uh, might actually be a good one to look into because uh, it increases melee attack and applies to clubs uh, I believe that applies to bats as well bats are a club so uh, this might be a good one to do and pain tolerance as well uh, reduces HP loss by uh, 10 20 30 or 25 percent so that might be a nice little tree uh, we also have the scientist tree which um, Really, uh, we're not going to use too much, so we'll ignore that one. Uh, scavenger actually might be a good one, too. Yes, Scavenger is a tree. This is our next one right here that we got to learn. Our lucky looter is in the Scavenger uh, uh, perks. So, yeah, we'll make the Scavenger book, and we'll learn that and do all of its quests and uh, get that going. But for now, guys, I unfortunately have run out of time for this episode. So I hope you did enjoy. Uh, like for the Steves and the other Steves, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay classy and always back up them game saves. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck.